or the supreme law of the land. Nobody will take it if we don't give it to them. Do not believe this new world order goon, this woman trying to rattle mothers around her, mothers for gun control or whatever. My mother is a mother, and twice or three times your age, you and my mother is not for gun control. Do not try to speak for mothers. First of all, you are much too young to have any experience of life. And look into your eyes, they are dead, you are born sociopath. How much do they pay you? How much do they pay you? Mothers against guns or for gun control or whatever you want. And you tell us on TV, you're not going to go away. <laughs> the real mothers will come and they make you insignificant. Because there, is mere, there are more mothers that stand for the Constitution and the rights that are guaranteed to us by the Constitution, mainly the First and Second Amendment right. You goons out there trying to follow the New World Order agenda, following Obama, who is, in my opinion and research, a Muslim, why do you think they took a guy like him, because too many people believe our rights are given by, to us by God, from God. And if he destroys Christianity and there is no God, then in his logic, I believe, he thinks we have no rights because no God, no God-given rights. First of all, we have birthrights. And second of all, I am from the core a Christian. I don't believe in organized religion but I believe in God. I believe in Christian values. And this guy in the White House, who's nothing else than a president of the U.S. corporation, remember that. He is only the president of the U.S. corporation. He is not the president of America, the Republic. Just ask him and see what he's going to answer. They are coming for us and they are coming for our guns. And after they have our guns, it starts always with gun registration, that they know where the guns are. And then gun confiscation. And then I see you in Camp FEMA for vacation. You will be in it. I will be waving from the outside because I do not surrender my Second Amendment rights. If you don't wake up right now, if you don't stop believing in the mainstream media brainwashing, if you don't spread this video and the other video I made before this, which now has within a week nearly 5,000 views, we are getting there and we're going to get a response and we're going to fight back. To own guns, to bear arms, open end in uh, protective mode, that is our right. We have the right to own and bear arms whenever and wherever we want. Look at the spelling of the Second Amendment. Yes, there are so many laws created. They're not even laws, ladies and gentlemen. They are rules and codes that restrict gun ownership or where you can have a gun and where you can't have a gun and so on. In my opinion, everything infringing the Second Amendment is unlawful if it's against the Constitution for the United States of America, it's unlawful. It is void, like it never happened. So how long are you going to be a coward? When are you willing to wake up and get up and get your butt off the sofa and stand up for your rights and the rights of your children and grandchildren? There are many people out there now organizing. I fear really bad things will happen and I fear even more really bad things have to happen to stop this insanity of treason. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the facts. Where there are more guns, there's less crime. They want to take the ammunition or the magazines away from you that you can protect yourself from SWAT squads like they came at Katrina to confiscate guns. With a 10-round magazine, you cannot protect yourself from five or seven illegally entering goons coming as a SWAT team, mainly even private, Blackwater and so on, raping women in Louisiana, gang-raping women 
in New Orleans. You want to live like the people in Afghanistan live or the people in Iraq live today? That's coming. You give up your guns? That is coming. And they only go for magazines 10 rounds and above to make them illegal. First of all, you cannot make anything illegal that has to do with guns. We have the right to own whatever we want, to carry whatever we want. And on the other hand, everything is grandfathered in. You cannot change a law in the past. You cannot reverse a law. There was a law when I bought my gun. Interestingly enough, I don't own any of these guns or rifles that they want to ban, so that's not even the point. Wouldn't even know what to do with it, really. So I don't need one. Of course, I own a gun. And I own, and I know how to use that one. But ladies and gentlemen, when they come for you, for your ammunition, for your guns, and they will, when they come for your food and your solar panels, your water and your water filters, and they will come, because that's why Obama made all these executives orders, that he owns everything, solar panels and our cars and basically everything, our water, our food. Why do you think he made this, all of these executive orders? Because he's going to come for it. And when they're going to come for your food, how do you feed your children? So you have to stand up for yourself. And what do you need? You need magazines and ammunitions that are, have a capacity that you can protect yourself from a goon squad coming in the New World Order squads, five, seven, ten people. If you have enough rounds in your magazine, at least you have a chance. Stand your ground. Send this video on. Go to ibmsmastersociety.com, become a member, fight with us and stand with us. That was Dr. Leonard Coldwell for freedom and liberty in our nation, America, the Republic. Thank you very much. Thank you.